Hi all, I'd like to talk to you for a little bit about the books that we're going to be using in our course. There are two books, as you know from the syllabus, that are required for this course. The first is Math Through the Ages by Berlinghoff and Gouveia. The other is Journey Through Genius by William Dunham. Now there are a lot of books on the history of mathematics, and many of the history of mathematics textbooks are these giant tomes, thick, thick books, that are chronologically ordered and address math from the beginning of time up to uh, more or less the present moment. These books are not organized like that. Math Through the Ages is organized thematically. There are 30 very brief sketches, five to 10 page sketches over various aspects of the history of mathematics. For instance, negative numbers or trigonometry or quadratic equations. If you have an interest in a particular topic and its history, it could well be that there's a sketch in Math Through the Ages about it. Also, there is a nice uh, chronological aspect of Math Through the Ages in that there is a 60-page, 30,000-foot overview of the history of math at the beginning of the book, and I'll be wanting you to read that also, at, in Math Through the Ages, there's a very nice reading list at the end. If you are finding yourself very interested in a particular topic in the history of math, this reading list might give you some ideas about where to go next to find more information. The other book is Journey Through Genius, and it also is not your typical chronologically ordered book. Instead, it is organized around some great theorems of mathematics. There are 12 of them that are discussed in the book, and that amounts to 12 chapters of Journey Through Genius. We will be looking at several chapters of that book. Uh, you should buy these books because they're going to be used extensively in the course. And these books also contain material that I think is useful for your own teaching. A few words in favor of these books. First of all, as I have just said, they are rather unusually organized and in a compelling way. Also, the people who have written these books are experts in their field. Since this is an online course and you're rather distant from me, your instructor, it is important to me that the voices that are speaking to you, notably the authors of these texts, be real leaders in their field. Also, these people who've written these books are good writers. They're capable of telling a compelling and interesting story and helping us be excited about the history of mathematics. Another th great thing about these books and other books is that they are edited resources. On the internet, we might find many, many things that we like to use. I do this, you know, I search the internet for uh, resources that I might use in a class. However, these resources, I know, have been edited carefully and have been checked carefully for accuracy in their details. That's an important thing. Finally, I feel like these texts could be very helpful to you in your teaching. It could be, and I hope, that you will be wanting to use history of mathematics in your own teaching. Maybe you're teaching some unit about quadratic equations and you think, well, hey, I would like to incorporate some history into this. These books can help you get started. Pull it off the shelf and uh, pull math through the ages off the shelf and look for the sketch on quadratic equations. You may be able to incorporate some of those ideas into your teaching. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the books. They're a very important part of this course.